title of my talk is Information Theoretically Secure in Distributed Storage System with Condom Key Distribution Network and Password Authenticated and Secret Sharing Scheme. Sorry for too long title. So, the contents of, uh, so, contents of my talk are listed here. At first, I'll explain our newly developed schemes and show the experimental setup and result. And finally, I, I'll summarize my talk. Nowadays, uh, highly confidential data such as genomic data are transferred and stored in data center. In such case, we want a system which can transmit, store, and process critical data with information theoretical security. The, the, uh, the requirement for the system are listed here. First, confidentiality. Information theoretically secure encryption should be used integrity. At least, the data owner should be able to check the data unchanged availabilities, redundant data backup and fail-safe mechanisms are necessary, and functionality, full homomorphic encryption is very convenient because the data can be processed without any decryption. Secret sharing scheme. Uh, sh share, uh, Shamir's KN threshold scheme can realize this information theoretical secure storage system if, if the data transfer and authentication can be done with information theoretical secure way. Moreover, the secret sharing scheme has these functions. And the confidentiality and integrity of transmitted data can be guaranteed by QKD and one time pad encryption. Therefore, the combination of a secret sharing and QKD is natural expansion. Let me briefly introduce the Shamir's KM threshold scheme. For a given secret data S, the, the data owner generates a polynomial of order K minus 1. In such case, the secret data is a uh, uh, con uh, constant term, and the data owner creates n of co-orders named shares, and shares are stored in data servers uh, called shareholders, and shares themselves need not necessarily be encrypted. With shares less than k, the, the original data can ne never be reconstructed. This function provides us the information theoretical confidentiality. In other words, even if and minus scale shares are lost, the data can be reconstructed. Therefore, the secret sharing scheme has uh, availabilities. Moreover, shares can be added and multiplied, so functionality also included. Shamir's secret sharing scheme itself cannot realize integrities. However, if the message authentication code encoded, uh, embedded in secret data, the data owner can check the integrity at the data reconstruction transaction phase. The security of, of uh, channels for data transmission is uh, just assumed. So network QKD links and one-time pad encryption scheme can provide the information theoretical security in trans transition. This figure shows a conceptual view of information theoretical secure communication by using uh, QKD links and encryption in IP protocols. NICT has developed security enhanced layer three switches. In these switches, one time path encryption and Benoit Carter authentication are executed. But we know uh, QKD works in a point to point, not a much party links and speed and distance of direct links are very limited. So QKD network is necessary. Um, networking is made by introducing the trusted nodes and by relaying a key via nodes. And the routing function must be installed to get the appropriate redundancies. So following slides shows 
our newly developed information theoretically secure in authentication with a single password. Roughly speaking, uh, authentication methods are classified into three types. First, uh, something you know, a password authentication is classified these types, that, but the security is a computational one. Second, uh, something you heard. Maybe everyone used uh, uh, IC cards or token devices, but the risk of deprecating the data is unavoidable. And uh, third, something you heard. Uh, biometric information is classified these types. This type is very convenient, but the risk of deprecating data is unavoidable, and one cannot change uh, his or her uh, biometrics information. So uh, password has been used in many cases because it's simple, convenient, and with low-cost implementations. Semantics report says 80% online certification a combination of ID numbers and password. When we use the storage system, we, the data owners must communicate with many shareholders. So using many passwords leads to human error in security aspects. For example, using a simple password or memorizing them on the paper. So we desire authentication method using a single password with information theoretical security. To realize it, we make a share of a single password and store them in multiple shareholders. Following slide shows our newly developed uh, schemes. Uh, this slide is, is uh, in three, four thresholds for secret data is set. At uh, registration data and password sharing uh, phase, the, the data owners creates and send the shares of secret data and password by using the second order polynomial for secret data and first order polynomial for pass, uh, password, uh, password. And each shareholder generates a random number of, uh, sorry, uh, one of the unique uh, uh, points of our scheme is uh, it has the uh, free computation and uh, communication among server space, which is necessary to guarantee the information theoretically secure in uh, the data reconstruction phase. So uh, in this phase, uh, each shareholder generates a random number and uh, makes shares of all by using first order polynomial. And the, each shareholder generates the shares zero by using a second order polynomial. And shares, shareholders uh, ch exchange shares of all and zero with each other. Okay, and the, at the reco data reconciliation phase, the data owner selects the three shareholders, for instance, shareholders one and two and three. In this case, these shares are not used. The data owner uh, remembers the password, which is P primes, and generates the shares of, of P prime using the first order polynomial. And the data owner sends the password share to the shareholders. The shareholders uh, com compute the three quantities, R, Z, and F, like this. And shares F1, F2, and F3 are sent back to the owner. And the data owner finds the polynomial FX with F1, F2, and F3 by interpolation. If the password is wrong, the secret data shares are masked by these terms. Therefore, no information on B is leaked because this turns is completely randomized. If the, the, the password is correct, then as a result of the interpolation, uh, this term is can, are cancelled and 
these terms also become zero, so the data owner can de reconstruct the original data like this and divide it into secret data and MAC and the calculate the MAC again and check the integrities. The following uh, slide shows our experimental setup and the results. NICT has operated QKD network named Tokyo QKD network since 2010. It has uh, six QKD links and five no nodes. And we propose the three layer structure to operate the QKD networks. In quantum layers, each QKD or links generates a secure key, and the secure key is gathered in key management agent. And we define this layer as a key management layer. And the key is read one by one time but capsulation via the key management agents. And key management servers carries out the centralized key management and organ organize the routing table and assign the secure path. And key supplier agent works as application interface. We defined two, two layers as a QKD platform. And so in application layer, we can enjoy the several application using the secure key from the QKD platform. So uh, ticket sharing is a system is set on application layers and boundary of responsibility is set between the QKD platform and application layer. Following slides shows the assumed op operation conditions. Trusted nodes must be protected and access right to the QKD platform and the data owner shareholders are completely separated. And the data owner and the shareholders are set in another admission managed area. Malicious attack on the shareholders cannot attack the QKD platform. And in our experiment, three four thresholds are set for secret data is set and the data owner server works as a one of the shareholders. In this case, even if the malicious attacker can fully access one of shareholders and pretend the data owners, it, this scheme can work. So uh, this figure shows uh, processing time as a function uh, of uh, registration, uh, pre-computation, and the reconstruction phases as a function of index of Mersenne primes for 46 kilobytes data size. All calculations are made in finite Galois fields of, uh, and the prime order of Q. Mersenne primes have suitable form 2 to the nth power of minus 1 for calculation. The best performance can be found in the range of this region. The total quantities of keys required for storage and retrieval is about 40, uh, 30 times as large as the original data size. The performance depends on the size of the queue. This is because the computational time of the shares increases roughly in the square of bit length of the queue, and uh, using the small primes, queue increases the number of the blocks. Hence, the longer processing time is required for dividing and managing the blocks and sending the IP packets. To improve the performance, uh, we have to improve the system as uh, tracking more blocks in one IP packet for small queue, uh, parallel processing of IP packets, and uh, simplify the key sorting and synchronization. We expect to decrease the processing time one times one tenth. So I, I will summarize my talks. Uh, we succeed in proof of principle demonstration in information theoretically secure distributed storage system, 
confidentiality is obtained is, is combination secret sharing and QKD network and password secret sharing authentication. Integrity is realized by using the MAC in IP packets and tra in transmission in embedding MAC in the secret data in the construction phase. In near future, we improve the QKD links and storage system and implement the proactive secret, secret challenge and we'll demonstrate the data relay by using our scheme. Thank you for your attention. Thank our speaker and all our speakers.